Welcome to the Crazy Family Show. Good morning, folks. Crazy Dad here. It's about uh, just after six in the morning, as you can see. <laughs> Can't see anything again. Oh well. Gonna head off to work here. Get some coffee. Wake up. <sighs> it's Wednesday, though. Middle of the week. Ugh. Two more days. That's okay. Not looking forward to Friday, though. That's okay, I'll be out, though. I'm gonna, he's gonna put me out. He's gonna give me some medication to... let me sleep, which will be nice. <laughs> right, off to get coffee. The other thing about living where I live, of course, is that if one train goes down, as it just did, you have a complete backlog with traffic, with the trains, with the buses, and it just ends up being a complete cluster you-know-what. Oh, well. I have to wait for the bus. Luckily, I'm smart and I left early so that I'll be able to get to work on time. Okay, got coffee. More coffee, that is. Made it through the thrones of people. There was a sky, uh, sky train broke down on uh, the other side of the track, or the bridge. Holy mackerel, that's great. All right, I'm squinting. Yes, I know. Anyways, uh, lots and lots of grumpy people. Crowded trains. Missed about four or five trains went by. And... Uh, one woman started yelling profanities at another guy because he was trying to push his way into the train. And I'm like, relax, lady. Like, this is why I leave early for work, so that I don't have this stuff happening, and I just burnt myself. Ouch. That'll wake me up. Third degree burn. <sighs> All right, well, i got about half an hour before I start work. So I'm going to go relax for a little bit. Finally making it home. It's about six o'clock almost. What a gong show of a day. So it starts off with this rigor remor of just absolute pandemonium at the SkyTrain station because uh, a SkyTrain broke down and so there's like four or five SkyTrains that go by. A woman's yelling at the people in front of me because they're already packed and like, wow. <laughs> then I got to where I gotta go to this to catch the other bus to go to work. That one was all fine and dandy. No problems there. Then on the way home, I get to Scott Road Station, or no, I get to Surrey Central Station to catch the C73 bus. It doesn't show up. It was supposed to be at 4.55. It didn't show up until 5.10. We all pile on. The lady goes, oh, I'm an hour behind when I'm supposed to be. I gotta call into dispatch. So she phones into dispatch. They say, oh no, just carry on to Guilford, don't even bother uh, running the route. She's like, I don't know what to do, I'm new. Da, da, da. And I'm like, hang on, there's a guy on a motorcycle going by. Nice bike though. Anywho, so we all pile off, and of course there's grumbling and moaning and complaining and what have you. And then uh, the next bus shows up. We'll all pile on there. <laughs> and he chugs along and chugs along. And it's fun, you know, I get to where I've got to go and now I'm going home. But, my gosh, I mean, like, <laughs> TransLink, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't because you don't watch my channel, but if you did watch this, get your act together, man. Come on, you guys make millions of dollars. Millions of dollars every year. The least you guys could do is get the system working properly. Yeah, I know. Wishful thinking, right? Oh, it is what it is. You make the best of the situation and you just keep going. And that's what I did. I just kept moving along and what have you. But, right, I'm going to get going home to get some food in my belly because I'm hungry. All right, so I've been home for a little bit, making some dinner with Crazy Mama. We've got a stir fry going. Yum. Delicious. And on top of that would be some rice. Ugh. So tired though, stupid bus system. I'm gonna chill for a bit and uh, have dinner, get the kids to bed soon, early-ish. Cause gotta get up early. Uh, coffee should be my friend. All right, so had dinner, kids are in bed. It is 8.48. Oh man. I wish I could just sleep for like 40 hours straight. Just a whole week sleep. Not have to get up. Just a minute, love. But yeah, so I gotta get these kids back to bed now, apparently. 
And then I gotta get the coffee ready, and then I get to bed myself. And yeah, I get to bed, because I'm knackered. Hi. And Ella's down there. Hi. Anyways, thank you for stopping Hi. by. Thanks for coming by and Hi. checking us out. Abby's Hi. down there too. Hi. Thank you for checking us out, and come back tomorrow. We'll Hi. see you then.